bench only had three points tonight. You know, how, how do you see that going forward? And is that going to be a weakness going forward? Well, I don't have a crystal ball, but uh, I would like the bench to, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, at times it has, and uh, we, we hope that that will be the case. You know, we're limited. We've been limited on numbers last year, this year. We don't have that many guys anyway. We've got four freshmen playing, so, you know, that's asking a lot. Four of our eight for a while were freshmen, and they're just, you know, kind of kind of getting comfortable. But I, I don't want to overreact either. Um, but I hope that as, as time goes on, yeah, we will get more production at times we have. Uh, tonight, obviously, we did. But we didn't, we didn't lose on offense, for gosh sakes. That was, we scored 83 points. We shot 50% from the field and 70 some from the line. And we got almost 40% of our rebounds back. That's, that's an offense, that's offense going to win on the road most of the time. So I'm not really worried about who scores or, you know, if you're going to hang 83, you're going to usually win with those numbers, but come on, we lost on defense. And, and, and give, give TCU credit. Uh, you know, you can have guys in the gym shoot horse shots and not make 50% from three. I promise you, I've seen it a lot. So give them credit. Shot the ball great, played uh, very well offensively. They turned it over a lot. We turned it over a few too many times. You'd like to be around 11 or 12, you know, but uh, they, they played very, very well. Re really shot the ball very, very well. And I think we helped them. You know, I felt like we were just a, um, maybe a little step slow. I, I thought we had an incredibly hard challenge. You know, we, we, we went to the Bahamas. We were there a week. We played three tough games in three days. We come home and not much rest. And boom, we're playing games again, including USC the other night. And, and uh, you know, the, 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 the fever pitch that you get your guys get for games like that. I felt like, and I told our guys, you know how you felt the other night? TCU's going to feel like that for us coming in here. And, 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 you know, to date on their schedule, this was, this was a big game, you know. And that's hard. That's difficult. And, and uh, unfortunately, we didn't, you know, look like the same defensive team we, we looked a couple nights ago. What was your take on the intentional foul and how that played out? I mean, clearly it wasn't. It looked like you were just trying to. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm always like supposed to not say anything. So I'll just say from my vantage point, it certainly looked like he made a play on the ball. And uh, I asked them, the officials, and they said, well, because he did it from behind. And so maybe I need to dig into the rule book more. I didn't know it mattered if it's behind or front. But I thought that really, that, that hurt us. But, uh, you know, I certainly don't want to, that, that didn't cost us the game. What cost the game is we couldn't get him stopped. We couldn't get him stopped. How do you think you hit Mark in the second half? You had four, three starters with four fouls. How did that affect the way you were able to? Yeah, that, that, to not make excuses, but that, we, you know, you're having a boatload of freshmen out there in a, in a tough deal and against a very good team. Uh, you know, we're kind of rotating even out of position a little bit. And uh, that put us definitely behind the eight ball. It, it wasn't the smooth. You know, we've had a lot of games where we're just kind of in our own substitution patterns the way we want. And if guys are playing well, they're staying in there. And, and uh, this game, no, it was, it was, it was very, it was, <laughs> it was a very frustrating game for me because two things are really going wrong. We're, we're getting multiple fouls called on us. Certainly maybe deserve, we're, but we're in foul trouble. And, there's nothing more frustrating to me as a coach, and even more so on the road when you just can't get stops, and and uh, we were not able to do that. But uh, it, it'll be good for us, you know. I I think uh, we've had some incredible defensive performances this year. We have against uh, great teams too, um, one on a neutral, and one at home, and uh, this was a road game. We didn't we didn't have it, so I hope that. I always hope that something good comes out of something bad, and, and something good uh, needs to be the lesson of you. You let a team put up 50 percent plus and uh, shoot a whole bunch of free throws. Now a lot of these were at the end when we fouled, but still, you let them shoot a bunch of free throws, shoot 50 percent on the road. You're, you're not winning many of those. So, you know, we're, we're gonna. This will be a reminder. This will come up a lot all year long. I can promise you that. This will be. This will be 
these numbers will be up on the board quite a bit. So hopefully that won't happen again. Tim, you said you were step slow. Was that getting out on the perimeter when you were kind of, you know, trying to pack the lane and, you know, defend close? Yeah, you know, I felt out. like I felt like we, we 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 weren't as quick as we usually were, and that sounds like an excuse, and it's not. It, it's not. It's not saying, well, you know, we came off that hard. No, it's college basketball, and you got to rise back up. I don't care who the challenge is, and. You know, you play in tough leagues and the games come at you. So I, I, I don't in any way mean that as an excuse. I just didn't feel we were as quick as we usually are. And, and uh, yes, they hit shots, but, but they hit a lot of, a, lot of, a lot of good shots. You know, they, we just were, were, were late on the closeout for whatever reason. And uh, I'll, be, I'll be, well, I'll be semi-anxious to watch the film on the way back. I'm not, I'm not overly excited about it. But... I guess what I'm so surprised is we have played great defense. You know, we have played great defense the whole year. And I will say they're hard to guard because, uh, you know, it kind of starts inside with their big fella. you, you got to deal with that. And I think uh, I told our guys, I said, I've never seen a guy just, you know, every time he throws a ball at the basket, it seems like it goes in, you know. And so we, we worked really hard to try to keep the ball out of there. And, and because of that, because of that, we, we gave up, you know, a lot of three-point shots. So, so maybe, you know, some of it we over, over tried to do that and packed it in a little bit too much. You've talked this year and last year about how your team's been able to defend specifically without committing those fouls. And tonight I think you had five in the first three minutes or something like oh that. Oh, my gosh, yeah. No, it was, it was seven to one at one point. I don't, but I wasn't keeping track, but it was seven to one after seven minutes. <laughs> not that I was following the – Of course the, not. Of course no. not. But yeah, and then and then and, and then yeah, somebody somebody was whispering in my ear, and in the second half the same thing. It's like I look up and it's you know it's eight to two or something, and it's, so we were all you know. And hey, I'm sure we deserved it, but but that's not a recipe to win games. It's, it's not a recipe to win games to be in foul trouble and have a trouble stopping people. And and uh, you know, going back to the offense, shoot. If you told me we're going to shoot 50 percent, 73 from the line, and we're going to have less turnovers, and we're going to get almost 40% of our shots back. I'm, hey, we're we'll probably win this game. You guys limited case. Brogianski pretty much, but Hamby kind of. Well, we probably. The, yeah, uh, we probably. Uh, we, maybe we. Maybe we overdid it. You yeah. know, maybe maybe we. Uh, maybe that was too. Maybe, maybe you know. Well, I'll look again and see why we weren't able to get out on the shooters. Uh, I did like the way we battled back. I like the way we battled. You know, second half and took the lead, was playing great, and then, you know, fouls again, and then they did a good job, made a great run as well, and kind of took control of the game, and we didn't get it back, so. Uh, but, but congratulations to them, they, they, they played very well, they, they deserve to win tonight. Thank you. Thank you.